Zero. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. I play the white pieces, which means I go second. I think I know who this might be who plays Central Foul Rook. Um, we'll find out if my suspicion is correct. But there's one player in particular who's been playing it a lot recently. So see this threat? I'm seeing if I can induce my opponent to play another pawn move. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Surprise, it's not. Okay, I have a choice of whether or not to take a free pawn. Uh, who are we kidding? It's my MO to take free pawns. So, um, this is extremely dangerous, I shouldn't do it. But man, free pawn. The freest of free pawns. All right, how do I get out of this? Also, what the fuck is this silver doing over here? But yeah, unfortunately, I can't hold my position together after such an exchange. So now we're intending this. Uh, okay, now it actually is a free pawn. Boom, free pawn. All right, last turn I was concerned about this kind of stuff, but that's no longer possible. Um, let's see, I can uh, I control this square. I have heavy influence through the center of the board. My opponent might be intending to start to use this silver that's just kind of hanging out here. Um, I might consider not leaving my entire position hanging, so, like, I could play this in the future, or potentially even just drop the bishop straight back, but this could prevent some of the insanity which could occur, I don't know, if all my stuff starts hanging simultaneously. Um, okay, I'm confused. Let's just get the king out of here. So this is a possibility. This is a possibility. This might be possible. Uh, escaping with the king in one piece is possible. So, okay, now they've limited the ability of this silver to move. So I'm not especially motivated to make their job easier. Um, Let's just tuck the king in the safety, play a nice calm opening, and watch as their pieces just don't do anything. We're already up a pawn. There's not a need to assert dominance any more than we already are. Um, right? Okay, my opponent concedes. I'm not meaning to tease or anything like that, but uh, I had a pleasant position, and pushing the envelope is the sort of thing that'll get you in trouble if you do too much of it. So I played a rather calm opening, just, just going to tuck my king into safety, push my edge pawn, uh, make sure I don't get mated. But I've got a lot of things covered. Eventually I was going to bring my silver into the center. But that ended up not being necessary here. Uh... 
So yeah, beginners will go a long way if they can remember to use both the rook and the bishop. It's not always easy, but uh, and often I find myself forgetting to do this. But it is important to use both of them. Um, otherwise you're handicapping yourself. Uh, yeah, I was actually surprised because don't you do live streams at night? Like, at least it, you do a live stream like 12 hours ago or something. I was, this is part of what motivated me. I'm like, hey, apparently the gang's all here right now. Fine, I guess I'll do this. But this is kind of the a really weird time for a tournament to be held, given that most of us are not in Europe. So... Yeah, maybe... I don't know if this is, like, the right hour for these things to automatically be scheduled. Ah, I see. Yeah. Maybe that's something that can be improved in general on the Lee Chess site, is when it says, like, okay, this is the duration of the tur- Oh, I didn't read that. Am I really gonna play this whole thing? <laughs> I don't think I am. Um, but... Uh, there is a tournament schedule, but like when you just look at any one tournament, you don't really get a good sense of when it is. Either hour of day or day in the month. It, the calendar tries to be all things, and is it's kind of useful, but you are always having to second your guess yourself because this is different than any calendar you're familiar with. Um, yeah, I've... I'm seeing what I can do also to try to make the tournament schedule run shorter events and maybe more frequently. Um, that might work better too. Oh yeah, also this does overlap with US work hours, so that's kind of a problem. At least since there are so many US-based players. I happen to be out of the office today, so uh, not such an issue for me, but um, yeah, in general, uh, tournaments on most servers don't tend to work very well for US players. Um, is anybody else actually playing a game? Uh, top games. Alright, so there is one game in progress. So... I guess I only see one game in the top games list. Potentially what this means is that like nobody's playing even though everybody signed up. <laughs> All right. Um Oh, I go first. This is how Shogi works. Oh. Okay. We got a fight on our hands and so move one. Uh, crap, how do I deal with this thing? Um, I have an idea. Oh, long time no see, wait. Okay, this is not, <laughs> he is not my opponent this round, just playing some troll opening. Uh, I had deep concerns for a brief instant. Uh, I'm like, wait, am I being ridiculously trolled here? Uh, no. Um, cause like Bishop five, five is probably not the most sound move ever for me to play. I just played it because I didn't look at my opponent's rating. Um, but it looked kind of interesting to just try out. So, uh, but yeah, long time no see. Um, Alright, so this looks kind of interesting to me. Um, since we can now do the classic uh, bishop drop here. Unless I have something better. Um, yes, yeah, so that's a fork. 
And I have this pawn covered. I have this covered here. Uh, this is covered, so it's not possible for a bishop to fork all four of these pawns or any of the combination of these four without stepping right in front of the pawns. Um, so this is what motivated me to play my silver up here. I wonder what other colors can I get? Um, okay. So I have a choice between exchanging bishops and giving up my attack or exchanging my bishop for this pawn and seeing where this leads. This looks like the more fun option. So they take here, they're attacking a pawn, um, which I can defend pretty easily. And yeah, we'll just play a game where I have a promoted bishop and they have an unpromoted bishop. Unless I have some tactical shot here, but I don't think I do. Yeah, I think this is a reasonable course of action. Um... Could play fourth foul rook. Yeah, let's bring the rook over. And then bring the king over and build half Mino. Maybe at some point I should form a plan for removing the bishop, although it looks kind of clumsy where it's at. Like, if they could bring another piece to attack this, I'd be concerned, but I'm right now I'm not concerned. Also, we're playing with uh, the one kanji set. Not Hidechi's one kanji set, but just this one. Um... So, practice makes perfect. I'll get better at using this set. Alright, so... My opponent offers a bishop exchange. Um, puts their bishop on the edge of the board. I could exchange and then just drop my bishop back here again, and they could trap it. So maybe I don't want to do that. Um... Yeah, let's just retreat our bishop, defend this point, attack this point. Um, all right, they bring their king into the middle of our attack. That's fine with me. I'm going to try to put my king somewhere safe while not losing this. My king is somewhere safe now. Um, they could drop a pawn on this file. Um, I don't see a problem with that just yet. I could bring gold up over here if I were really concerned. Um, but again, right now I'm not seeing a problem. So, my rook is not very active. I could probably do something about that. Um, now, they might be intending another bishop exchange threat. So if I just carelessly do this, they could force, or at least heavily threaten this exchange. Um, maybe I want to do something about that. Um, so we'll build up a little bit of a wall here. Again, I think I've got this corner covered. Alright, we'll give my king an escape hatch. Um, 
and we'll complete the half mino castle. Or at least threaten to complete it. Actually completing it doesn't give us very much, but being in a position to if we need to um, does buy the king some safety. But the king's not that threatened right now. Um, so as much as... well, I could bring the silver out and put the rook opposing their rook. Um, hmm. That might not be a bad idea. We've got to, like, use our pieces at some point here. This is defended. Right, they're trying to exploit some hole in my position. Oh, actually, <laughs> I mentioned that this is defended. Uh, temporarily, this is so. Permanently, that might be a different matter. Um... Hmm. Well, so if I snap the pawn, they get my pawn, I can exchange rooks. And things get messy. I could retreat my bishop to defend this. Uh, and they exchange bishops. And I don't see where the bishop drops, but this is getting a bit scary. But I think I'm still okay. Uh, it's a bit sketchy, but especially once they drop the bishop on this long diagonal. Um, so probably best is for me to just snatch the pawn and offer a rook exchange. And let this cascade of tactics flow. Um, even though that's not really what I originally planned. Um... Slitting their bishop on this long diagonal unopposed is no good. Do I have anything better? Not that I see. Alright, well, we're just going to go for it. Um, it'll have to be fine. Because I was not paying enough attention to be cautious. So, I played something slightly aggressive, and we'll get punished for it. Um, on the bright side, uh, my rook is active. Oh, wait, on the less bright side, I'm inviting more tactics like a rook drop here, although I happen to have it covered. I should look at these things before I play into them. Um, yeah. All right, we've successfully exchanged rooks. Oh, he's got this fork. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, uh, I mean, I could drop a rook to counter the, that rook drop. Hmm. So my options are move my horse to defend the silver, which results in bishop takes and I'm giving material. Um, actually, no. Well, yeah. Move, Drop the rook and hope that there's not another rook drop threat here. I'm not seeing one. In which case, maybe I'm okay. The rook drop, I protect my bishop or silver. Drop another pawn. I have to make some threats, too. Um... Oh, I could drop my rook here. Uh, threatening their knight. Protecting my pawn. Yeah, that's quite accidental. They drop a pawn. My horse takes it. At least for the moment, I'm surviving. Um, So, yeah, I think this accidentally covers all the most important squares. Um, they do have one square that this could escape to without being captured. 
If they do nothing, I guess I could just trap the rook. Uh, either with a knight or with just putting a pawn here. Um, so we are likely going to see something like this. We're likely going to see a pawn drop. But against the pawn drop, I can just take it. So I've defended my pawn, defended my silver. It would have been good to build the full Mino castle earlier and delay my attack. I just got impatient. Oh, right, there's this idea too. Um, interesting. So if I take this, they exchange bishop for two generals. Um, hmm. I could put a pawn right in front of their bishop. They promote, I can't take, um... So perhaps better would be a pawn drop here, and then a pawn drop right in front of their bishop. But they take it, and it's okay. <sighs> this is annoying. Um... All my normal chess tactics are failing me. Whatever, let's complete our castle. And, okay, he gets a token, and this is painful. But this could be so much worse than it is. So, maybe we just accept it for what it is. Um, so, if I do gold takes, this could... I'm assuming he has a tactic that I've missed. Just because, like, this last several turns in a row, I've missed... Tactic after tactic after tactic, so I'm sup I'd be surprised if I have this all in order. If gold takes pawn drop on the rook's head, uh, I don't think I have some tricky way out of all that. So I think I just run. I think it's okay. Um, possibly I do a pawn drop to hit the rook first. And they sack the rook for two pieces. Well, I'm too curious. I'm always pushing the envelope. So, let's see where this gets us. If he backs up the rook, we get to take the token with tempo. Um, and we're threatening to promote our rook at the same time. If he takes the gold, we take the rook, he takes my other gold. It's painful, but playable. Um, right, so he did what I expected, although I don't think it's best. Um... Oh, actually, if I were to try to win this pawn, it's not so simple. So, hmm, yeah, rook takes, rook takes, gold takes, bishop takes, they promote. Or if I take, and if rook takes, we exchange rooks, and they promoted the bishop. Um, so that's a mess. So I think we just back off. And we're still threatening this. And we still have this covered with our horse. So... Um, I think I'm still better, but not by much.
I'd be a lot happier if this silver weren't on 2-2. If this were more aggressively posted. Or if I'd just taken the one tempo earlier in this game to push my silver up complete Mino Castle. We wouldn't have none of these tactics. Uh, so... Yeah, our opponent's being resourceful. And we'll see how long he can continue to find every resource here. He's doing well to find a lot of things. Um, hmm. So this threatens to trap my rook. Huh. Constructive. I could protect my horse with the pawn, and then they could attack my horse, and I would have to move away, and I lose the pawn, and that's okay. It's just a pawn. Um, but they have two pawns, and the other one could attack my rook. And if my rook has nowhere to go, that's a bad day. So... I don't know if this... I'm not sure what to do here. Just given this game's extremely strange start... I'm not sure um, about a lot of things. I could move the rook up to defend the horse, but again, they pawn drop to hit my rook. I take their bishop. I then drop the bishop to protect my horse and hit this rook and threaten stuff in the corner, but that's not the greatest thing ever. My silver's still loose. That's just not a pleasant position. And if I bring the horse back, then they just take my pawn in the center. And if I recapture, it's not so pleasant either. Um, Uh, so my horse is off sides, my rook is in a bad spot. Sacrificing the horse might not be the worst thing for me to do here. I just don't have an attack to follow it up. Uh, I could pawn drop right in front of the silver. Shake up their shape a little bit. That might be a reasonable way to try to continue here. My target is their king, and this brings me one step closer to that target. Okay, so we're going to take the silver, and then take the knight, unless they attack the rook, in which case I'm going to take all their generals. Um, right, so they hit my rook. Do I take time out to take this pawn before starting to take generals, or do I just go for the king? The king is the thing. If I win the king, that does win the game. <sighs> um, I don't understand this pawn drop, because I could take the pawn, they drop another pawn or something, and then I just go off and start taking other stuff. 
Like, I don't understand this. But also, this is a free pawn, so... Uh, I don't see how it sets up another tactic. If anything, I'm more concerned that pawn takes rook and then pawn takes silver to follow. Um, I don't really believe in this attack. Okay, although now if he's going to give me a pawn, maybe I start believing. So I've taken one pawn for free, and now if I take both these generals, I imagine there's got to be something I can do, right? Yeah, let's play it out. Let's find out how this works. It's a lot of pieces. Um... Maybe I needed to support that instead of just capturing. Maybe it's been too long since I last played this game. I'm just playing like an idiot right now. Or rather, I'm just not happy with my moves immediately after I make them. Huh. Uh, well, let's see what we can do. Because I can't drop anything right next to the king, we have to do something like this. Um, mm -hmm. He's threatening my silver. I have no ranged pieces anymore. Um, let's... Get ourselves a ranged piece or two. Many people have paused the tournament. You're there with three losses. It's, yeah, it's a tough tournament in both respects. Here I am playing my second game, and it's not going well. Um, I've had better. Um... But also, yeah, players have joined and then aren't really able or available to play their games. Um, oh, goodness. What do I do with this? I have all the generals in the world. And the minute I start placing them, bad things are going to happen. Um... Like, I'm tempted to put a knight here, but it doesn't do anything. <sighs> How do I make threats? This rook in particular is extremely annoying. If I take this, they're just going to put thing pawns and other stuff on the other side of this. Um, but if I don't take it, like this immediately explodes in front of my king. But taking it accelerates their attack, so... That's kind of a problem. Uh, if I bring the token this way, um, I almost have something kind of sort of resembling an attack. Not really. Um, a knight here might not be a bad idea. Because it could oppose... Yeah, I see. I could put up some opposition in front of this lance. Um, let's 
screw it, we need this lance. It'll be okay. Um, yeah, I think the tournament's out of players. So my idea is I want to put pieces around here. Oh, am I mated? I don't think so, but it, we're getting close. Getting very close to being mated. Hi. Well, that's disappointing. Knight's not going to help them very much. Yep, so I have to continue taking here or else I'm immediately mated. Um, not that I survive much better this way. Okay, that's silly. There's no need for this. I don't understand. The reason I made it the other way is because they could take bishop takes gold at any point, and gold on the head does mate, so uh, my king's in a desperate spot. I don't understand what they are doing. Possibly I'm still completely lost. Very likely so, but I can try to put up a resistance. The silver is only defended by the pawn. So this pawn, I guess, is where I'm going next. Shogi pieces are awfully clumsy at retreating with the exception of the bishop and the rook and the king but yeah um all right so they defend this pawn as i think they must and i'm screwed um hmm Well, Lance on the edge file does try to defend my king. My king has nowhere to go. That's a problem. Um, is there anything I can do? I don't think so. Well, let's attempt to defend the king. They'll attack my king from the head, and I'll have to run away. And we'll see just how successful I am at running. Right, so free rook. Not really, but... Oh, that's mate. Never mind. Alright, that'll do it. I did not see the mate in one. Well spotted. So yeah, that's what happens when you play one impatient move, followed by another impatient move, followed by another one. Um, 
your king gets exposed. With chess, it's easy for me to entertain an audience playing some nonsense moves. With shogi, I need to be much more careful. Um, but yeah, I think you're right that like finding opponents is going to be hard since most people aren't here. Um, these hours really don't work well um, for U.S. players. And while they might work for European players, I'm not aware that we have a strong European following here. So, um, yeah, maybe that'll be it. Let's see. We s oh, never mind. We have an opponent. I have the white pieces this time. All right. Um, cool. Get ourselves a bishop exchange with tempo loss, and I don't understand what's going on, and it's okay. Um, we'll play fourth foul rook against this, which I think is playable. All right, that's exciting too. Um, yeah, that's still playable. I need to make sure I don't drop my lance. So, I kept threatening to drop it. Um, but I think we can survive this opening and then make some threats afterward. This gold is kind of excitingly placed. All right. Um, I think this is fine. They push this again. I think bishop drop here is the best possible place for my bishop. Um, otherwise, I'm not in a tremendous hurry to drop my bishop just yet. Uh, let's give my king an escape hatch. And let's see. Ah, do I play a cautious move this game? Is that ever my style? If it wins me games, it might become my style, so maybe I should start playing defensive moves once in a while. So let's complete the Mino. Alright. Um... Let's see, do I move my silver up now? It's probably okay. If it's not okay now, then when is it okay to do this? But um, I think that has to be done at some point. We have to be able to make a threat eventually. Uh, so this slows down their running pawn. Um, but not by much. And so this is next. If I push this, they could do a bishop drop on this diagonal. Um, so we'll deal with annoying bishop drop or bishop escape ideas. Simultaneously make some ideas of maybe escaping or dropping our bishop on this diagonal. Yeah, I think it's probably fine. Um, there's no prize money or anything like that at stake here. Um,
Hmm. Deal with some bishop drop threats and take some more space. Okay, we've corralled the knight. Hmm, is there anything else I want to do before I attack? Yeah, I think I do want to push my third file pawn. It's tempting. Yeah, well, the knight in particular um, is unfortunate here. I think the rest of this is okay, because I just kind of suck at attacking. But um, the knight on the edge is not very happy. And there's no real way that I see that you can improve it. Um, I've been trying to carefully defeat any plan that you might be making here. So it makes sense that your development is a bit strange. Um, <sighs> I guess the next thing for me to do is defend my rook this way. Yeah, once my bishop drop comes, this will get more interesting. Um, but I do have one other attacking idea that I've not told you about yet, so we'll see when I play it. Um... No, it looks like you got pretty decent position here. That's not to say that you can't blow it in one move, but right now I still haven't found a way to bishop drop profitably. But it's getting tenuous. Um... What I'm waiting for is some obvious opportunity where my bishop drop just decisively enters. And I haven't seen it. Oh, okay, so I could drop here. You could defend that. So that doesn't work. Um, well, it's already defended, too. Um, I 
All right, I think this is also a shape. This going right there. I'm not sure if I want to move it just yet, but having the flexibility to move it if I need to is interesting. Um, okay, that doesn't actually accelerate what I was planning. Um, yeah, somehow I thought it might. It doesn't. All right, we'll play the night out. Knight doesn't have anywhere to go right now, but I don't need the knight defending the edge, so the knight can go here instead. Oh, okay, I finally see an idea. It took me long enough. Um, I'm not sure if this will get me in trouble or not. But an idea is an idea. Yeah, I see, like, you've just pushed everything. Oh, did I walk into a tactic, perhaps? Sure seems that way. Um... Hmm... All right, I guess I have to retreat. This is not my finest moment ever. I should have pushed my lance up three squares instead of two, so this tactic would not have been possible. Instead, I'm supposed to be reading out what's going to happen, but my opponent still has 20 minutes left on their clock, so I've kind of given up on trying to read things. Um... Like, I think I have a lot of things defended here. But they might have some miracle breakthrough that just obliterates everything I have. It's kind of hard for me to know that in advance. Um, yeah, well, this... You've also got 19 minutes left on your clock. I don't know what you're going to do with it after my next move. Um, but this would be an opportunity to reflect. It is beautiful, I'll give you that. But, um, but yeah, I'm actually kind of motivated to try to win this now. <laughs> so... Um, Yeah, I've tried making some beautiful shapes here. Like, I put my knight up defending my king. That was probably a stupid thing. A stupid waste of a move. Um, I put my rook on this file to oppose your rook, because that looked kind of nice. Um, but I'm not sure how well all this works out for me. Alright, let's make sure my... The ship does not get trapped. Welcome! 0xdeadd00d. I don't know why I've never done that before. It's certainly the most interesting way to pronounce the name. Um, Alright, so they defend the silver. Oh, am I seriously going to have to exchange my bishop for a piece? After I just made the whole spiel about like how I'm not going to get this bishop trapped? Uh, 
we'll see. See if my bishop escapes. I think it still might escape. But, yuck. What a game. Silver crown. Like, pushing my knight here was uncalled for. I did it, and I'm going to pay a price for it. Um... Yeah, all this is just painful. So my opponent has a pawn in hand. Alright, let's start to bring the attack. So the attack's just going to flow this way. Hmm. I hear birds. In December. Yep. So he does what I thought. So we are going to exchange. So I've got myself a rook. And I'm going to get myself more than just this rook. So this is an extremely well-timed tactic that I've fallen, fallen victim to before. Yeah. Well, you've got 18 minutes left. I don't know what you're going to do with these 18 remaining minutes. Um, but, yeah. Shogi's not an easy game. This classical time control is kind of painful, because after you make the mistake, like, what can you do? So, um... Yeah. Uh, our one spectator here, I guess I'll call him dead. Um, but yeah, he seems to have noticed I built Silver Crown, uh, which might be overkill given this game situation. Um, oh, I'm supposed to take this, right? Hmm. Interesting. So if I don't take it, My chess impulses are all about just take all the pieces every time. Even here, that's not a bad idea, because getting a knight in hand could help me attack, but um, my opponent has defensive ideas too. <sighs> Taking would give me a knight in hand, which would not do very much. Um, my opponent has pieces in hand already, is my concern. So if I just completely ignore this, they're going to take my knight and then repeat the tactic. That's what annoys me up here. I do have a pawn I could drop. Uh, how do I attack? I don't know anymore. My problem is that ignoring it does not make his problem go away. All 
Right, I have to take that. But this doesn't make my problem any easier. I still have another knight in hand. So I can drop a knight to hit this pawn. That doesn't make my life any easier. We're just going to attack on this side and assume that my castle can withstand attacks long enough. We'll see. Am I single digit Q? Well, on 81 dojo, um, I've reached one Don. Um, but I don't know. My tournament games on that site have been special. I think if I just dropped the knight here, dropped a knight here, maybe I could have made something happen. But also, my rook is useful on the side of the board. Hmm. Also, this might be useful. So I do have a drop here. All right, what did they do? Oh, they dropped on the square that I'd consider dropping on. Um, it's not terrible because it does line up with this. My first reaction was that I really didn't like this drop and couldn't find a way to make it useful. Oh, never mind. I still don't like it for a different reason. Um, so I've got two knights. Can I exchange a knight for a lance? Well, normally this would actually be an exchange, but they can't defend the lance. So, huh. How about that? Yeah, this shogi's hard. I kind of... Well, if there were a convenient way for me to export this game, I would want to export it and run it through an engine. Oh, they, they can defend the lance. Um, uh, how badly do I want the lance right now? Yeah, I think I do want this because I have a tactical follow-up, which is to use one of my lances. Because the bishop does not attack uh, in this direction. So this attacks straight through the bishop. I'm going to get at least one piece for my lance. It's kind of a weird place to drop a lance because it's on my opponent's side of the board. But since they moved up all their pawns, it's kind of hard for me to attack any other way. Um, I guess I could still threaten this. So yeah, one Don on 81 Dojo just means that I have a grasp of the fundamentals of Shogi. There's still a lot that I don't understand, but um, I'm no longer the most beginner of beginners.
Right, so they defend the bishop. Um, I could take immediately, or I could wait a turn before taking. And if I were to wait a turn, the way to wait would be uh, bishop takes pawn. Um, so it depends, do I want a bishop right now, or do I want a pawn and the ability to make threats um, in the immediate future. The prospect of making threats is kind of interesting. So let's make use of this, which defends my lance. And then next turn, decide if we want a bishop. Maybe we do want a bishop. Maybe we'll want whatever else is on the table. Um, I guess the only downside here is that this is not defended. So, potentially things could get ugly. But, we've been there, done that. It'll be fine. Yeah, so last game I should have done better too not exchange off my only attacking piece because that makes it much harder for me to put more pieces right next to the king if I don't have one in the vicinity. So um, that was a colossal blunder on my part, although possibly I was already lost. I'm not sure that I will be. I'd be surprised if this tournament goes past, um, I don't know, just a few games. Because since there's such low turnout, I don't expect the players who have stuck around to continue sticking around. Alright, so... I don't have any generals or anything like that to drop. They don't have any gold in hand, so there's nothing wrong with this. If they had a gold, the gold could maybe defend the bishop and scare away my horse, and maybe somehow that would be okay for them. But now I've got a gold, and I threaten stuff. I threaten this, I threaten that, I threaten this. So, um, I guess I don't need those circles highlighted, but like, it's going to take a good move for them to slow down my attack, or to speed up their own. But what could they do here? They've already dropped the bishop, and it's not on um, my half of the board. Granted, it would have been hard for a bishop to escape on my half, but... Um, yeah, the way this is, um, there, only I can attack. All right, um, I don't have any cheapo here. Man, uh, this is going to take a while. So... Um, let's bring out the heavy cannon here. Maybe this will help speed things up. And yeah, even if the tournament does go on for the full six hours, I don't know that I would live stream all of it anyway. Um, but I'd be surprised if it does. All right, we get two dragons. Actually, three. We got two dragon kings and one dragon horse, and we scared our opponent into playing a defensive knight. Um, so I think I'm safe against whatever he's attacking with now. Um, I have to get better at attacking though. <laughs> 
a timer is going to be my enemy here. Um... Okay, this bishop can't go anywhere. So let's hit the bishop. Yeah, there's a really slow-paced tournament uh, running on Li Shogi right now. Oh, uh, I mean, I could show the opponent rating. Yeah, it is permitted. Um, I think everybody has a new rating on the site, so I'm not bothering, but... Um, yeah, like, 1393 after playing one or two games or something. Like, we don't really know based on that rating. It's got the little question mark, because everybody's got a provisional rating on the site. It just means they lost a game. Doesn't really necessarily mean how good they are. Um, there are some opponents who do have decent ratings here. Yeah, I'm not sure that... Like, attendance of this tournament has been kind of poor, both because it was not well advertised, um, and because the players who joined it are working or otherwise unavailable at the moment. Um, Alright, so my brilliant concept here was this. Hmm, not sure if that's so great. Could just drop a gold here, which would be nice. Why don't I do that? Um, hmm. Wait, if I do this and then this goes away, I can take this lance. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, well, again, I'm not intending to course anyone. I don't think the tournament's going to run the full course of its schedule. And possibly, like I know other streamers are going to be doing stuff later today. Uh, Shogi Harbor was interested in continuing whatever it was that we were looking at the other day, which was um, Sume and Hishi. Um, so that's coming up. I see from Twitter that Jian is going to be doing something in a number of hours. So... Like, I don't expect a lot of people to stick around for this. And maybe there might be other tournaments or other stuff tonight, too. Maybe. I don't know. This is, the way this did get scheduled is convenient for European hours, but this just wasn't poor, or this was poorly advertised. And uh, even though it's called, like, the monthly classical thing, uh, it was just automatically scheduled the same way as the Lee Chess one. Um, all right, so this is trapped. I have to get better at attacking. Which probably means I should just drill more Sume and not worry about this particular thing. Wait, I could... T no, this gold is defending the horse or knight. Um... Uh, so I could drop a knight and take here, or I could drop a pawn and then promote the pawn. That's slower. Or I could put a knight back here where I probably needed it a thousand turns ago just to safeguard my own king. Um, then move it forward and start taking stuff. But they could defend this. Or I could put the bishop down that we just collected but it's kind of hard to break in. Okay, so... Yeah, this... Actually, the, what I've circled here is the foundation. I need to take out the foundation. 
So the way to do that would be to add a piece that attacks it. Um, so my knight, well, knight could be useful elsewhere. Uh, bishop, maybe? Is the bishop too heavy? I think a bishop is just right. Oh, I'm an idiot. You could just take this. <laughs> I forgot. All right, whatever. It's still fine. Oh, I should have put it back one square. All right, so I have to take out this lance now. Or maybe I can break in without taking the lance out. Now that I've got so many pieces attacking this knight at the same time. Uh, bishop takes... Oh, wait, no. If this dragon moves, then this lance is free to move again. Um, so, yeah, I actually do need to add another piece to this attack. Okay. The trick is, if that happens, I take here anyway, and then do that. Right, so this pin is still in effect. So I can just take the knight. Um, I could just take the knight. I might have better just continuing to pile up on it, or have some other attack. Like, the king is no longer defending this lance, so... I could take the lance. Um, I should actually just take this lance, because that's supporting this. So this is pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Um, Alright, where's my checkmate? Can I take the knight? King takes, gold drop, king moves, dragon, they do something. I don't know if I have mate or not. Probably not. What could they defend this knight with? Nothing. Pretty sure this has to work. Or at least this doesn't worsen my position. Okay. 
guess we just continue taking stuff. Check. Um, yeah, check looks like it makes sense. Um, there we go. Finally got it. Victory is mine. <sighs> Shogi's hard. Good game. Well played.